Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to implement K nearest neighbor classification algorithm using Python and SQLearn library. In the previous videos, I have discussed the theoretical concept behind the K nearest neighbor classification algorithm as well as the numericals on the top of K nearest neighbor algorithm. The link for those videos is given in the description below. To implement K nearest neighbor uh, classification algorithm, first we need to import uh, the packages and the dataset. So first uh, we will import uh, pandas, seaborn, matplotlib and numpy. Uh, these are the different uh, uh, packages are required. Along with that we need a scalar package. Uh, I will discuss that particular thing at the later stage. Next, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to read the data. Uh, we can read the data with the help of uh, read underscore csc function of uh, pandas. Uh, once you read that particular thing, uh, if you want to see whether that particular data is read correctly or not, you can use uh, the head function. It will display the first five uh, rows of that particular data. In this case, you can notice here the first five rows were displayed. Uh, these are the features of that particular data and the target class contains uh, two labels. One is uh, one and another one is zero in this case. Now I will use uh, df.info uh, function from uh, the pandas again. What it does is it will display the non-null values for each and every feature. In this case if you see here uh, there are thousand non-null values are there for each and every uh, the column or you can say that the feature in this case. Now if you want to see are there any null values are there uh, what we can do is uh, we can use uh, is null function uh, again from pandas and then we will sum over all those particular null values. Now if I run this particular uh, fragment of code I am getting zero the meaning of this one is none of these particular features are having uh, null values. If they have null values we have to handle them by replacing the null values with uh, either mean, median or mode or something like that. So in this case uh, we don't have any null values uh, so there is no question of uh, uh, replacing the null values with uh, any of those particular things. Now coming back to the next one uh, what we need to do is uh, uh, for example if you look at this particular data the data is uh, not uh, you can say that the scaled one. Uh, the, uh, what we need to do is we need to convert this particular data into proper uh, uh, scaled version that can be done with the help of uh, standard scalar method from sklearn preprocessing. So first we will import a, st a, st a standard scalar function from sklearn preprocessing and then we create an object of that particular standard scalar here. The name of the object is uh, scalar. Uh, then uh, what I do is accept uh, the target class. Accept the target class I will uh, pass uh, the all the columns or can say that the entire data set to this particular uh, scalar object and then uh, we will transform it into the uh, can say that uh, the uh, scaled version so that is uh, can be done with the help of transform function over here so here I have dropped the target class because I am not interested in target class I am interested in only the features so that's the reason we need to pass the entire data set except the target class and then we need to transform it with the help of transform function so once you do that one we will get the scaled uh, features here uh, if you want to see those particular scaled features you can see here uh, these are the scaled features where uh, we have the mean is equal to uh, we can say that uh, uh, 0 and standard deviation is equal to 1 in this case. Now coming back to the next one that is uh, we have to divide that particular data into train test uh, like uh, we have to have uh, the two parts over here. So first I will do one thing I will uh, import train test uh, split function from uh, sklearn model selection and then uh, I will put the entire uh, scaled version into X and then the target class will be put into Y here. Next I will uh, pass this particular uh, scaled features as well as uh, you can say that uh, the target class to this particular train test uh, split function. I will get X train, X test, Y train, Y test here. So these are the four things I will get. Along with this particular uh, features as well as the target class we need to pass uh, two more uh, uh, can say that uh, the attributes here the first one is uh, test size in this case I have considered uh, training is 50% uh, and testing is 50% you can vary this particular thing according to your wish and then uh, the random state is equal to 1 101 the meaning of this one is I want to replicate the same results again and again so that's the reason I have set it to 101 you can set uh, with any value over here next I will import uh, the k neighbors classifier from sklearn uh, neighbors and then I will uh, pass number of neighbors to this particular k neighbors classifier. 
so initially i have set uh, neighbors is equal to 1 here i will get the model to this particular model i have to pass my training data knn.fit x train comma y train so this is the training data i will pass it to this particular the model here and then uh, what i do is i will predict the labels for the testing data that is knn.predict x underscore test so once you predict it the predicted labels are present in uh, pr ed in this case now uh, we will try to evaluate the uh, model's accuracy or you can say that the performance so that can be done with the help of uh, classification report and uh, confusion matrix so i will import uh, a classification report as well as confusion matrix from uh, sklearn.matrix now uh, what i do is i will draw the confusion matrix here so confusion matrix of y test that is the actual labels pred that is the predicted labels now uh, if you see this particular uh, uh, confusion matrix you can see here 233 226 uh, examples were classified correctly 17 and 24 were classified incorrectly so that is the thing we can understand from this particular uh, confusion matrix if we uh, display the classification report here again we need to pass the y test that is the actual labels and the pred that is the predicted labels you can see this particular classification report here uh, in this case if you see this particular uh, recall precision and all for 0 and 1 we are getting almost same values here the meaning is uh, data is balanced one so there is no need of uh, what we can say that roc curve and all here for example if you are getting uh, 90% for 0 and uh, 10 or 20% for 1 the meaning is the data is imbalanced i cannot uh, uh, evaluate the performance of any model uh, on uh, using this only uh, confusion matrix and classification report over there in such case we have to use some other metrics like uh, uh, roc curve and so on so in this case uh, all those things are not required and if you look at the uh accuracy of this particular model is around 92% in this case uh, and uh, if you want to uh, display the missed classification error rate uh, which is equivalent to uh, 8.2% and so now the question here is uh, we have selected uh, the value of uh, n is equivalent to uh, or can say that k neighbors is equivalent to 1 here okay so that is uh, not the correct always because we cannot say that uh, n underscore neighbors is always equivalent to 1 we should uh, select an optimal number of neighbors in this case for that reason what i have done here is i have uh, created one function uh, this is also called as the elbow method here what it does is uh, it will go on varying the number of neighbors and then it will uh, classify it, it will get the error rate here the one which will give the minimum error that is the best uh, value for uh, we can say that the neighbors in this case so i will start from 1 to 16 i will go on creating the different models and uh, i will try to print the error rate here so i am printing the error rate along with uh, the number of uh, neighbors here and if you see this particular thing when uh, the number of neighbors is equal to 1 we are getting 8.2% error rate in this case similarly if you go on checking it over here uh, when n is equal to 40 we are getting the minimum value here that is 0.046 that is 4.6% in this case so the optimal value of uh, n uh, neighbors in this case will be uh, 40 over here so that is the one thing you can do and the same thing can be displayed with the help of uh, matplotlib uh, library error rate versus uh, the k value on y axis we have error rate that is a misclassification rate and uh, on x axis i have k value uh, if you'll notice this particular thing for 40 we are getting the minimum error so the optimal value for k in this case is equal to 40 here so uh, in this uh, video i have discussed how can we implement uh, the k nearest neighbor classifier using python programming language and uh, sklearn library i hope the concept is clear if you like this video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching